While it's recommended to sieve dry materials whenever possible, sometimes dry sieving can't produce an acceptable degree of separation between the individual size fractions. Wet sieving is a procedure used to evaluate particle size distribution of granular material or aid in particle size analysis by removing fines that may impede the separation process. There are a number of methods that can be used when performing wet sieving. The procedure you decide to use is based on your end goal. Particle size analysis method involves introducing water through a fixture at the top of the sieve stack using a special bottom pan fitted with a drain and tubing to carry wastewater away. Both agitation and separation results from the mechanical action of the sieve shaker. Conventional ASTM or ISO test sieves can be used and are often fitted with a sieve seal gasket to control leakage. Procedures are similar to conventional dry sieving, just messier. The wet wash preparation method involves agitating the sample as it is sprayed with water or while it is in a water suspension. The agitation is often done by hand using a wet wash sieve under running water from a faucet or from a spray fixture. Mesh sizes for these sieves are selected based on application requirements. The number 200 and number 325 sieves are examples of popular opening sizes. An optional backing cloth reinforces the mesh for a longer service life. A variation of this wet wash method is to place the entire sample in a pan, covered with water, then agitated by hand. The wastewater is decanted over a wet wash sieve, and more water is added to the pan, continuing the process until the wastewater is relatively clear. The aggregate washer mechanizes this process, saving time and increasing repeatability. Runoff can be filtered with a wet wash or standard sieve positioned near a drain or fitted with a drain pan. For rough separations or sample preparation, a wet dry sieve vibrator can hold one or two sieves over a bucket while being washed. Once wet sieving is complete, the retained material is placed into an oven for drying. Now separation can continue as a dry sieving test. It's important to be aware that any wet sieving method has the potential for sample loss. Some material may be washed away during agitation or decanting, or may be forced into the crevices of the sieve and become trapped. For any questions concerning wet sieving samples or for any Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.